So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Tesla Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we'll discuss in today's video. In today's video, we're going to discuss about J Main's 2021 counseling for Jack Delhi. Yes, there are many students who are in chaos that why this counseling process came into picture, how we can apply to the colleges and courses under Jack Delhi. So we're going to discuss about all the facts, all the information in this video. Just a small request, please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because this video is going to be really informative. Let's start this video. So before starting this video, let me tell you the topics that we're going to cover in this video. We're going to start with discussing about the Jack Delhi highlights first. The major highlights of Jack Delhi. Post that, we'll discuss about the basic eligibility criteria under Jack Delhi and then the selection process or essentially the counseling process. Post that we'll discuss about the colleges under Jack Delhi, that what are the five major colleges under Jack Delhi for this fall, which is 2021. And then we'll discuss about the course and college in detail, that what are those five colleges, what are their courses that they offer. Also, we'll discuss about few facts about that college. And again, after this point of time, you still have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Let's start this video. So Jack Delhi, why this Jack Delhi came into picture? So it was a year 2014 when the government of NCT Delhi decided that we are framing a counseling process for Delhi separate, right? which is Jack Delhi, Joint Admission Counseling. So this year there are five major colleges which is under Jack Delhi and which will be channelized through this process. Normally it happens, the process all happens in offline mode, but this has not been decided yet. So you need to visit the site of this Jack Delhi to stay tuned about the processes. For this year, there are a total of 6212, which is 6212 seats are being offered through this process. Now, let's discuss about the Jack Delhi eligibility criteria and the counseling process. So there is two facts here, which is outside the state and within the states. Like who are the candidates who are belonging to the outside state and who are the students who are belonging to within the states? Because as per this, there are reservation. As the site says that Delhi region candidates, the seats are reserved 85%, which means out of 100, 85 seats are reserved for Delhi region candidates. So who are these Delhi region candidates? It says that aspirants passing the qualifying exam from a recognized university, college, or institutes located within the national capital territory, which is NCT of Delhi, will be considered for Delhi region only. Which means that if you have passed your class 10 and class 12 from Delhi only, then you are belonging to Delhi itself. And for the outside, this is just contrary, which means that if you have not done your class 10 or your class 12 from Delhi, then you are outside Delhi region candidates. And for those students, 15% of the seats are reserved. Also, there is one more click, which is your qualifying examination, which is one thing. And the second thing, which is the examination which you have given, which is J. So if the center is in Delhi only, then that also maps. That also is considered for taking you into picture that whether you are within the states or outside the state. All right, so this is about the basic eligibility criteria. Post that there are other criteria, which is 60% or 80%, that is subjective, depending on the colleges to colleges. We are going to cover that in the particular one. All right. Now, what is the Jack Delhi counseling process? So it's majorly five steps in here. The first one, you just need to just do the fee payment. You need to visit the site of JE Mains. Okay. And then Jack Delhi and then just make a fee payment of rupees 1500. Post that you just need to do the registration part. I mean, short, just fill the application form. Post that, which is the third step. You just need to fill and log the choices, right? There are five colleges. You just need to target those colleges as per your expertise, as per your choices, and then fill the courses accordingly, and then just lock it. Post that there is seat allotment. Now seat allotment is done by NIC. They maps your scorecard, which is J mains, your class 10th and your class 12 marks. Everything is taken into picture. And post that this seat allocation happens. And finally, which is the last step, yes, bingo, you just need to report to the allocated institute. So this is the process, quite simple. Just need to fill the application form, choose your colleges and courses, and then leave it, right? Because this is after the NIC Look Center. There are various conditions under which spot run happens. Like suppose if I am like I want to take admission in let's say DTU and if by chance I haven't appeared in that particular deck yet but, but I have filled the application form but because of some circumstances I was not able to attend or not visit at that point of time. So in that case spot run happens 
or if I just want to switch to some other colleges provided by marks is like that only then in that case spot on happens so you just need to read those cases read those conditions in here which is well explained in the site all right now what are the colleges under Jack Delhi? So there are as I told five colleges. The first one is DTU Delhi Technical University, then Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women which is IGDTUW, then there is Indraprastha Institute of Information Technology that is IIITD, then Netaji Supas Institute of Technology which is NSCUT and finally Delhi Skill and Entrepreneurship University which is DSEU. Now DSEU this college was established just last year in the month of August only. Okay, so let's discuss about each of these colleges, the first one. But before I move forward and discuss about this college, let me introduce a very important part here. Now this is for the NRIs. So for the NRIs, we have prepared an NRIA book that is related to DASNCIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. So we have a compiled set of NRI ebooks that will really help the students to prepare well in the examination. So let's start with the first college, which is Delhi Technical University, DTU, which established in the year 1941, which is a very old college, which is accelerated by NAC. The campus size is 163 acres. A ranking is immense, which is like second from the Engineering of Times 2021, seventh by the Government Engineering of India today, 36th by Engineering of by NIRF 2020. So it's a good college, a uh, good option in here. There are a total of 80 plus courses offered by this university and yes there are scholarship options as well and if i talk about for the pay package the highest pay package which is for the international was 1.02 crores that's a very huge number and if you talk about for the highest pay package in the domestic this is 39 lakh per annum this is for the year 2019 which means that this must have been increased in 2020 and this year fall well, what is the reservation criteria in this college? See, this is a government college. All are government funded colleges. These five colleges are government funded, which means the reservation policies are applicable in these colleges, universities, institutes. Talking about for the OBC, 5% of the seats are reserved. For the SCST, 10% of the seats are reserved. For the defense and the CW, which is 5% of the seats reserved. And for the differentiable able person, which is PD, this is 10% of the total seats reserved. This is about the reservation for DTU and IGT TUW, which we will cover in the coming slides. Post that, let's discuss about the courses which is offered by DTU. So it offers 80 plus courses, but in the BTEC, it offers somewhere around 14 courses. 14 is specializations essentially, which is mechanical, biotechnology, civil, computer, electronics, electrical, environmental, engineering and physics, IT, mathematics and computing, mechanical engineering, polymer science, production and industrial engineering and finally software engineering. So these are the courses or specializations being offered under BTEC. Now let's move on and discuss about the next college which is IGTTUW. So IGTTUW established in the year 1998 and again this is a public college which means that like government supports in here. Yeah, it offers courses full time and part time. The mode of admission is online. It offers 12 courses across two streams. If I talk about for the specialization in BTEC, then this is computer science and engineering, which is CSE, then this is ECE, then IT and MAE. So there are four specializations in the BTEC. The highest pay package in the year 2019 was 16 lakh rupees per annum and the average was around 5.5 lakh rupees per annum. You can visit the site of this particular university which is www.igdtuw.ac.in. You'll have more information about this university. The more important thing right here is that the growth that you will get after this point of time is immense. Yes. Once you pass off from this college or this university, there are ample growth opportunities. So please don't look into the average pay package. Please don't look into the highest pay package. Look into the learnings because these colleges are located in the capital of India, which means you'll have like immense growth opportunities out here. Talking about for the reservation, yes, this is 5% for the OBC, 10% for SC and ST, 5% for defense under CW and 10% for the differentiable or PWD or essentially PD students. Now let's discuss about the other university which is uh, Indraprast or this is Triple I T D. It was established in the year 2008, a recent institute established in the location Okhla, Delhi, popularly known as Triple I T D or Triple I T Delhi. The campus size is not too big, not too small, 25 acres. It's a decent college, but yes, it's an accelerated by A, so it's a good college. 
talking about the ranking this is 14 ranked by engineering by india today and 56 by engineering by nirf yes in here also if you talk there are reservations which says 5% for the OBC, 10% for SC and ST, 5% for defense and 5% for PD students. Talking about for the courses which it offers, it offers 9 courses essentially. But in BTEC there are 7 specializations which is CSE, ECE, CSAM, CSAD, CSSS, CSP and CSAI. So you just need to visit the site of this particular institute. You'll have more information about this course wise detail. Talking about for the pay package, this is 16 lakh rupees around. 17 lakh rupees was the highest pay, was the average pay package for the BTEC and for the MTEC, this was 16 lakh rupees. So not a good, bad option. This is a good option because if you compare in terms of return on investment, the fees are not too high. In comparison to the fees, the placements is good. So it's a good option. Now let's discuss about NSUT. Yes, NAS, Netaji Subhas Institute of Technology established in the year 1983. It's a very old college or uh, university. So this is a very good campus right here because 145 acres is a very huge campus, right? So this is also located in a very green part of Delhi, which is Dwarka. So it's a good option. If I talk about for the courses which this university offers, then there are a total of nine courses right here, which is ECE, then COE, then CSAI, then IT, then ICE, ME, then MPAE, then BT and MAC. So these are the courses that this university offers. Talking about for the reservation, yes, this is under the reservation policy that says that 5% for the OBC NCL, 10% for SC and ST, 5% for defense and 5% for PD. So this is about the reservation and this is about the courses or specialization under this university now let's discuss about the last but not the least which is delhi skill and entrepreneurship university now this university established last year only which is 2020 yes it is recognized by ugc and the admissions and scholarship happens on the basis of merit yes scholarship options is there up to 25 to 100 percent you'll get Scholarship that depends upon your merit, your, that depends upon your score essentially. If I talk about for the specialization in BTEC, then you have mechanical and automation engineering, then you have electronics and communication engineering, then you have computer science, then you have mechanical, then you have tool engineering, then you have mechanics. Talking about for the reservation, yes, this is also falling under the reservation, which is 5% for the OBC, 10% for SC and ST, 5% for CW and 5% for PD. So this is about the Daily Skill and Entrepreneurship University. So I hope now the things are clear how this counseling process happens. Just need to visit the site, fill the application form, choose your colleges accordingly and courses likewise and list leave it. Just keep being updated that whatever you are just moving up, moving down, you just need to monitor that thing. So this is all about this video. I hope you enjoyed. I see you in the coming videos. Thank you.